Well, hello, folks. I am coming to you live from my Valheim game, and I really wanted to show off this property. Um, honestly, it's it's quite the build. Um, you see, I've built up the entire mountain basically just to protect it. Um, this place is still vulnerable down here. I've had a giant attack. Um, and, uh, it's pretty impressive, though. So you want to see it on the map? Yeah, it's pretty big. Kind of glitches out my game. But these are the builds that I created after being so disheartened that for the Mislins and the Ashlands, they destroyed half of my world that I had already built. Um, you know, this comes with being a Depth Command reviewer of games and things, it happens. But, I have been very busy over here. My Patriot Towers, but yeah, it started all off with me building, you can see it, it's too big, it's getting cranky, but yeah, this is a very, very thick wall, okay, and I have this gorgeous entrance here, which will go up shortly to this tower, which is, uh, technically, it's kind of cool, I layered the floors as you can see, so there's technically six or seven floors, um, but they're all layered in a very peculiar way because I've learned how to do duck systems. But this is one of my favorite builds. Two day. Two day. Pardon the San Pellegrino is kicking in. Mm. So I'm calling this Zeus's Cathedral. It's a nice little place to relax. It's got some cool things going on in here. Like I said, my FPS is pretty low here. That's not bad. Um, ooh, yeah, no, this is always dangerous. Let's always make sure your fires are lit. Ooh. Uh, so it does have this really cool little hideaway to get into. I remember the first law of Valheim is shut your door. There we are. Yep, everyone's looking pretty good in here. We can boost this up. This is basically like the premier floor. And you have an exit over here as well. Leads you to another part of the basement. I made this obviously to look like a dungeon because I dug this out pretty deep before I built this castle. It's, uh, it's really deep. Um, so the first law in Valheim is when you shut your door. Alright, let's get a little closer, right? So it's basically a dungeon. This was where I actually slept uh, while I built this castle. Um, you know, I usually recommend that, you know, build underground and then just build up from where you are. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Now, with my FPS being so small, I 
really can't uh, build any more on her. And I believe this leads out to the garden. Yeah. There we are. This leads out to this lovely little garden I have here. Um, it's going to piss on us. That's alright, we built cover. It is a great view though. We need to get a nice you know what, let's 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 amp this up a little bit here. Make it a little more roomy. Let's see. I'll just put them in the stone. Yeah, she's not liking I'm building anymore. Tell me that honestly, folks. She's not going to be too happy about this. Let me see. But this is a great little area. I should protect it. There we go. I mean, with the fire pit, you get a great view. Alright, so let's get a couple of lanterns over here. Looks like a fire pit that's out. Yep. That's a negative thing. We need to have these burning. Okay. Alright, so we got this nice little joint here. We could actually make it better. Even while it's raining. Let's go on ahead and do that. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see that it's compromised. Let's see if we can fix this. Well, it was off a wee bit, but we could fix that. Might not be the prettiest. But it will work. Can I make it? Yes. This one, maybe not. You never know. Yeah, let's get on her. By the way, good tip. Oh, they're shooting me. My own, my own uh, turrets are shooting me. Oh man, I don't know if I can nail this one. At least I won't be shopping my own turrets. I'm a uh, pretty picky. I do get rid of that. So let's see. We get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. See? Trust the builder. Much happier. Let's see if this wants to work. Yes, we got that going. That should brighten these up real quick to green. And then I can extend the roof. Let's 
it's kind of nice to be out here in the rainstorm. It's a healthy feeling. A lot of folks just don't want to experience nature anymore. And I'm kind of confused by that. By the way, if you haven't seen my uh, channel listing, I am Springo Star. I am the Gen X girl from undisclosed location that loves playing old school games. I'm a big fan of Valheim. Um, that works out just nice. Oh, look how well that works out. Oh, that's just superb. Do it. Yeah. Made it look pretty, but it'll work. I don't know if I can get that one because the fire pit. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can get it. All right, well, that's, that's all right. Um, can do this. And believe it or not, this will add stability. There we are. Let's see. Oh yeah, much greener. Alright. Oh, my popcorn's popping. So yeah, I really wanted to expand on this garden, make it a little bit more habitable, but open-aired. You know, I, I really do enjoy watching the weather, and you know, I don't know if a lot of people sincerely under- oh, let's see if we can get this to go. There we go. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, that's a photo. And yes, I'm a really laid-back uh, Valheim player who's been out of service for like two years. But I also do other games and stuff. Um, honestly, you know, it's become very difficult for gamers, I feel, especially Gen X gamers, when they want to share their stuff. And... Um, they don't want somebody else owning it. You know, it's uh, kind of an issue. Hmm. Actually, I'm looking at something that's not going to stay stable. Yeah, saw that a mile away. We'll match the other one, though. Do well with me. Oh, now this is going to be the Dickens. Wait, oh, it might give me. So close. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty good. All right. So now the cool thing is that um, we could go build upward. It's yellow. Let's see how well this does. Hmm. Yeah. Don't be dumb, children. Don't be dumb. There we go. This should actually work out rather well. I planned it correctly. blue right now. Let's keep them that way. Yeah, come on, baby. No, we gotta go in. Alright, uh, we got this, we got this, folks. We got this. 
Adventures in Architecture with Springo Star. Yeah. She's got to be supported or it's going to break. Oh, you'll let me. Oh, yes. Oh, brilliant. All right, look, we got some extra inches there, buddy. No joke implied. Oh, look, we got up an extra notch there. It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, that, that is irking me. I mean, I could do this. It's just so superficial. If I do it this way. But it works, and it makes it a heck of a lot stronger. There we are. Huh. Are you clearing up? You know, my fellow always wonders, you know, why I play this game the way I do, with no members, just hordes to attack me. It's kind of like Zelda on crack. To me, at least in that sense. It's cool, you could actually desire to just be a homebody and build castles or get out on a boat and go explore things and die. Sorry, I have a creaky chair. This is creaky. Creaky, creaky chair. But, I mean, honestly, that is a gorgeous photograph. I mean, like, the details in this game. Um, I did acquire a new computer. My brother built me one. It was spectacular. It was an amazing moment in my life because my own computer was really about to go. And um, I had kind of sat on his computer for a bit of time. And, uh, you know, it made me sad because I didn't want to give up on my old computer. Any gamer would know, even if she's a, you know, a cruddy machine, you still kind of have an association. You want to make sure you save her hard drive. You know, it gets complicated. Ooh, that's actually a good fail safe right there. There you go, guys. See, I'm telling you, you gotta always pull little nook and cranny moves on your builds, even if they don't want you to build anymore. Like, look, FPS. It, 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 FPS in this area is doing pretty good. So, I mean, now if I was in another part of my castle, like I said, this area is incredibly large. I'm at Zeus's Cathedral. Oh, and just to give you an idea, even after they took away most of my um, map here, I had a lot to the left and the right of all of this. Like here there was stuff, there was stuff here, but um, due to the updates um, and no um, ward, those were gone. I think even with the ward. Um, but they did leave some good things. Um, I did this when I was like a few days before the release of Ashlands. I made a little barrier and a little 
portal here with the proper stonage and everything and I had this weird fear it was gonna be on water and I was completely correct because that's where it is and when I went back to visit it without thinking which I believe now it reminds me where my other portals are um, Oh, my other portals. It's like it's killing me. I know that they're here. Uh, it's killing me. I haven't. It's not. It's not the canna. And I even forgot how to get there. Harper Point. I don't remember. And it's killing me, because, uh, I do know where my newest portals are, but... It's, it, you know, I don't know what it is about this area, but something's calling me back to Oculus. And that's where we are right now, because I'm just so excited about this build, I can't... And, and I've forgotten about everything! After, like, taking over this entire area, I wish you could see my arrow, but... Jeez. Um... <sighs> well, it has been fun here, but I think we have to go voyage. Is it solid? No, it is not. It is very angry. Okay, see, this is what I'm telling you. You gotta wait when you build something. Alright. Um, let's see if we can quell this beast. Is already attached. Oh! Okay, well that that's not good. Such a millimeter. There we go, we got it. No, that is cranky. This helps. Oh! Oh, thank God. There we go, guys. I mean, yeah, this is weak. Maybe we could go against the wall here. But I'm losing FPS by the minute. I already got it in there. Thank you. How about that? That looks like it's in brick. There we go. It's really just a secret recipe of making sure that everything's touching. And I went way out. Let's see. And then, you know what, right there, we're just going to put a post. Because that's a smart thing to do. Wait, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look how that just fit in just right. Ooh! Gorgeous, and it's all sparkly. Big time sparkles. Alright, well, that's not bad. I, I mean, this garden is pretty pathetic. Um... It is quite nice here. I just have to. Oh, I look at that. Oh, that's a shot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we'll go up there soon. But, uh, let's see my, how my fire's doing. No. Oh, there. This is lovely. And I, I, I really do like it. That fireplace is off kilter. 
but um, it's already embedded in the wall, so we're gonna love it. Oh! Yeah, I don't care. Sit down, fire. Fine, I'll work on it later. Yeah, let's just fix that. There we go. Alright. Um, well, you're a little close for comfort. Maybe you put your level. That is nice. Oh, and look how that- wow, you just suck. Yeah. Wherever you came from, that's a big no. But I have a better idea. I'll fix that. Yes. Correct. Perfect. Oh, so the cool thing is that I can run up here. Well, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> that is a lovely little new spot. Like, you know, I'm not supposed to build here anymore, and I can't get out of here, guys. I just am so excited. I just want to take over, you know, like all over here and build there. But I think I have to give some space because, like, I'm. Totally killing the FPS on my machine. Oh, all right. Well, this lovely on. Oh, the popcorn's popping. So this lovely tour um, is going to draw to an end. Oh, seeing we have this lovely little entrance. Let's see how cute it is. And we're going to go up in the big old tower. Well, well, well. Love and light, my folks. Thanks for hanging out with Springo Star. We've been playing Valheim. And this is probably the most monumental build I've ever built. It's huge and the game hates me. So until next time, stay springy.